Measure. <laughs> Going to a crisp. Restaurant quality? Better. Okay, so just for some context, I have a food Instagram where I post food, <laughs> obviously, and my parents are always complaining, why don't we see any of this? First of all, because I eat it. Second of all, they definitely do, like, I'm always giving them bits of banana bread and things like that. Three, I'm not going to make myself a dinner and then go out my way just to give them a spoonful. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm making excuses. After today, they won't be able to complain anymore because I'm going to be making them a three-course slap-up meal. I'm talking starter, main course, dessert, the full shebang. I've even gone as far to make a menu. Now, it's a set menu. They have no choice. I've already decided for them. So the plan of action is going to be crispy cauliflower. I'm not quite sure on the dip yet, but we will see. And I wrote this earlier in the day, so I hadn't quite decided on exactly what I was making. So I've gone for Asian salmon, which covers quite a lot of bases. And then dessert, as all good restaurants serve, it's going to be a microwave dessert. Brownie bottom, cookie top, divine. My mouth is watering. So let's feed them. Your menu, sir? Thank you very much. That's so nice. The dip, what's the dip? Vegan or gluten free. So I haven't decided yet. Okay. Asian inspired Asian salmon. Asian salmon with rice noodles, dessert, Ooh, molten nice. brownie. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. The menu is spot on. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you want to set the table? No. <laughs> okay. The thing is, I'm making it all in real time. Like I've not prepped anything ahead of time, which is probably an error. A little bit of an oversight, but all great chefs cook under pressure. So I'm just gonna make this, roughly chop it, and break them apart so they look like wings, like a chicken wing. Most of the recipes on my Instagram are vegan and gluten-free just because I like to make food that most people can eat. In the interest of Instagram, I'm gonna be doing a gluten-free version, so I'm using cassava flour, which is one of the best flours in the world. Get on the hype, it's quite expensive though. A bit too expensive actually. But this is what I like to spend my money on. Measure. Measuring cups, half a cup of cassava. Now I'm not gonna measure, but probably two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two shots of vodka. Paprika. That's it. Okay. And at this point I'd normally add some hot sauce, but I've actually run out. So I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce instead. Same idea. And then combine it with milk to make the batter. Mmm, nice and clumpy. Actually, I need to check my Instagram. I'm using my own recipe as reference because I am my biggest inspiration. Yeah, this is where my, uh, all my training in the gym comes into practice. And this is the dipping station. Lovely, lovely batter. And then we pop it on there. So I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer for 25 minutes. I don't know, a wing and a prayer. See you later, baby. Uh, do I just serve it with some mayonnaise on the side and pretend I made it? It's a stressful time. Sometimes we have to make shortcuts, okay? Keeping it vegan with some vegan mayo. You can both sit on that side. I think that'd be quite nice. An everyday scene in the house. <laughs> Not made for TV. <laughs> The happy couple. Where? <laughs> Where's our dinner? Quick update, the air fryer was taking too long, so I'm just gonna fry them in a pan. Again, look at me, adapting, overcoming. I mean, come on now. Oh, burnt, burnt to a crisp. That is crispy. That looks like fried chicken, what the heck? Just put them on to some paper towels just because it gets rid of some of the excess oil so they go a bit crispier. Unfortunately, as you can tell, I've burnt some of them. In fact, I've burnt a lot of them. I can't serve that. I'm going to plate up the attractive ones. Not too shabby. Hi. Hi. So it's going to be like a serve yourself sort of situation. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I want the appropriate sound for your reaction. <laughs> Ooh, yes. correct. I did burn some of them, but I haven't served them. <laughs> These are the best ones. Now, what, what are these salted with? <laughs> it's kind of chunk there, lad. Is there any of this left? 
Yeah. And what were your dips again? A vegan mayonnaise, and then that's just a cooling yogurt, herby yogurt. You made a mayonnaise out of vegan. Very good idea. Out of vegan? <laughs> Look gorgeous. True. That is lovely. That is really lovely. Mm. Nice. Mm. The texture's actually spot on. Restaurant quality? Better. Best cauliflower wings I've ever had. <laughs> They're the only cauliflower wings. <laughs> Genuinely good. Very well, so. Cauliflower, who are you, eh? Just say when, sir. Damn, yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm actually shocked how much they enjoyed that. My dad thinks I made the mayonnaise. We're gonna let him believe that because that's what he was most impressed with. Okay, now for this Asian salmon. I'll chop up the veggies first so it gives me more time to think about what the heck I'm actually going to do. Now the key is to wait till the oil heats up because if you put food into cold oil, the food will just absorb all the oil instead of like actually cooking it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not explaining it very well. You want to wait till it's hot basically. Sorry. I've got to eat as well, so I'm just gonna eat these walnuts while I um while I slave away. I'm adding this. It smells good. I think that'll do. Yep. So I'm gonna ignore the menu slightly because I can't find any rice noodles, so I'm just gonna go for these ready to wok noodles. I do feel like I'm cheating because you just heat them up in the pan and they are done. That is some university cuisine right there. Nice and caramelised. They smell so tasty. So the salmon has been defrosting for 24 hours. You see, I planned ahead. And I'm gonna fry this in a griddle pan with lime juice and salt and pepper. Sesame seeds makes everything look better. Again, I'm not sure where in Asia I am with this dish. Cause you've got like the Thai seasoning and then you've got the sesame seeds. I'm not sure. Chili flakes. More lime juice. They are not the prettiest things I've ever made. I hold my hands up. Even if they didn't like it, I don't think they'd say it to me. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Lovely. Thank you. It smells amazing as well. Yeah, I was choking on the fumes. <laughs> Is that because it's got chilies in it by any chance? Well, I cooked some for myself last night and it was rather tasteless. That is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, it's crispy skin on the salmon. So beautiful. Again, presentation is top notch. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Yeah, I do. I really like it. I thought it looked awful. No, I like it. Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> Bland. Bland. Disgusting. Sloth. Mm. But then he always calls them darling, doesn't he? Disgusting, mm -hmm. darling. <laughs> I will get on with your dessert. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You know what I fancy Would today? Brownies. I know that this one works because I've made it many times. It's on my Instagram. Shameless plug. Ready in like two minutes. So let's have a look at this recipe. Oh, and you make oat flour. I totally forgot. I'll do the brownie first. Flour, cacao, coconut sugar, yogurt, plant milk, baking powder. Easy. So I'd definitely love to say that I have two perfectly sized ramekins to serve them in, but unfortunately I only have one and the other one is gonna have to have a cat bowl. I described the brookie as molten. I'm gonna have to put some sort of like chocolate chunks in it. So I'm gonna empty the cupboards and try and find some chocolate. Anyway, bingo. The recipe calls for oat flour, but because I can't be bothered to get my blender dirty, I'm just gonna use coconut flour instead. Mm, syrup. I promise there's the same amount in both of them. Obviously that one just is spread out way more. They're very hot as well. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Looks fantastic. <laughs> Gorgeous. It's a bit too much for you. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Mm. All joking aside there, it's been lovely. It really has. Oh, so we're just gonna get the debrief now. What did you think? I think it was beautiful. Uh, each dish was complemented by the following dish. Spices were just spot on and finished by a lovely indulgent chocolate. Indulgent, yes. yes. 
Which one was your favourite? Possibly the cauliflower, cauliflower salmon. Very, very close, because uh, uh, you got the spices just right with the salmon. Oh, bless your heart. Um, the salmon, but I too was very, very surprised by the cauliflower. Uh, very, very tasty, but the, the noodles and the salmon, I think, were the standout for me. So you're always complaining that I don't feed you things from my Instagram? Correct. What do you say now? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs>